Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you yet again with another weekly update video. Episode 100 or something, in something. Um, so I got some stuff to show you. Uh, so a couple of these things are from uh, last week's meet that I didn't show on the last week's video. Due mostly to time constraints. And then uh, four of these items here, items I just picked off my wall. I'm kind of going through one of those times that, you know, all collectors go through from time to time where they're kind of like looking at their stuff and being like, do I really want this or should I trade it or sell it? What am I, what am I keeping? What am I not keeping? Kind of going through that period of time. And it seems to happen for a lot of people for some reason around this time of year. It just seems like a lot of the people I know or some of the people I know are kind of going through the same thing, kind of going through their collection and kind of deciding what to keep, what not to keep. I'm also kind of deciding what to display, what not to display, and looking about making some changes in this room as well. So whatever. Anyway, so I picked four green light cars that I had on my wall over yonder that were not open. Then I'm like, well, I'm keeping these for sure. So let's open them up. And then I've got some stuff from the meet. And then I got some stuff that I found last night. So without further ado, last night... Um, I went to my Walmart, and all the Walmarts, as you may or may not know, if you're on Instagram, you know this for sure, are going through a sort of uh, new mod reset, okay? So they're basically moving stuff around, cleaning off shelves, and restocking stuff, adding some new products that they didn't have before, and yada, yada, yada. So if you watched my video already, I found the Honda series from Hot Wheels. Um, I also found Team Transport, which a lot of people have found that, um, and that's all for those and then also i found the mercedes-benz matchbox series i only picked up one from that series um the whole thing is out except for the g-wagon i believe has been delayed for whatever reason and you can't find that one yet but uh i just picked up this one mercedes-benz slr mclaren i thought that was a, a pretty cool one so i picked that one up um and then um i found two supers another 52 Chevy and the 68 Mustang. That's pretty cool. I found two Supers, right? I've already found like, I don't know, six of these. This is like my Super of the year. And then I already have one loose, so I'm not definitely not going to open up this one. It'll probably be for trade or whatnot. It's got a bit of a soft corner. Um, other than that, the card looks pretty good the car itself looks great uh and then this tuned mustang is on that uh hot wheels 2018 hot wheels month card which i guess is different than some of the other versions of it so my buddy chiresh wants this one so he's gonna get that and then so there's those i'm not opening up those two items i'll open up this one in the second segment but not those two and then so it was weird so they got j cases and then they got one g case that had the g case i think it's g right whatever i'm pretty sure it's g g case with um zamax i think it's g uh so there's these that never hit my store before and now finally they're showing up so and they got a was it g or d Anyway, I don't remember, but uh, there's the case code on the back, and I think that case code might be weird because all the cards have this Hot Wheels Month uh, logo on them. So anyway, the three Zamax, the 67 Mustang, the Porsche 934.5, and the 49 Ford F1, and I will open up an example of all three of these. So one of the cases had these Zamax, the other ones were J or J case. I am so screwed up this year with case codes. Yeah, J case with a 52 Chevy. So I pulled this out of the Zamac case, this Mustang. All right, so there's that. And then we'll take a look at the stuff that I didn't look at last week. And it's some cool stuff. So I got three Shuko cars. These are from my buddy Shiresh. He ordered a bunch of Shuko cars, decided which ones he wanted to keep and put the others up for grabs. And I'm like, I'll take all three of the ones that you put up for grabs. So we got, this is a Porsche Turbo 991. Audi R8 and the Volkswagen Beetle, which looks like Herbie, the love bug, which is really cool. So we're going to open up all three of these and show those off in the second segment, as well as we'll open up this Super Torino, 
glad to have that one. Uh, this was actually for sale from somebody in my Facebook group. Uh, Shuresh did go down there though and picked it up for me because he picked up a couple other supers and was on his way from another place, went to this place. And anyway, you don't need to go know the logistics of how it got to me, but it got to me by Shuresh. Thank you very much. And then Shuresh also hooked me up with this, which I actually did not have in my collection. Uh, this Volkswagen T1 panel. For some reason, I just never picked it up when it came out. And this is one of those castings that I kind of collect. I don't really crazy go after them. I am missing some that are going to be quite hard, like the Reese's Pieces, the Kermit the Frog one. Um, those ones are pricey when they come out, those old pop cultures. Would love to see this casting in more lines than pop culture. Glad that we got it once in car culture with the Moon Eyes livery. That looks awesome. Uh, would like to see it again somewhere outside of these crazy graphics because I'm not a huge fan. All right. Next up, the green light that we're going to open in the second segment. I had to do, we got a bus, right? So the Field of Dreams bus. Field of Dreams is a great movie. Classic movie. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open up that. This is from Hollywood Series 9. Uh, Gas Monkey for Bronco. Well, it's Gas Monkey. The reason why I really wanted this is because of Twin Peaks. David Lynch fan, for sure. Um, and then... Volkswagen Classic Beetle, Forrest Gump. Beetle is, as Beetle does. Uh, this one, I just basically picked this off the wall specifically to compare it, the casting itself, to this in the second segment. So I figured let's pick a Beetle off the wall too and like that. And then this uh, 1967 Chevy Biscayne Glendale, Wisconsin Glendale Police. Um, Glendale is, I don't know how far away is it, it's kind of in the Milwaukee area, so probably about 100 or so miles away from where I am. So that's the reason why I picked this up when I did pick it up. And uh, we're going to go ahead and just open it. So that's that. Let's go ahead and flip the camera around, and we'll take a look at some stuff. I think this is going to be a relatively short video. We'll see. All right, so here we go. Let's kick off this second segment by opening up this Torino Talladega super treasure hunt um i actually don't have the regular one i need to get the regular one i don't have it but the super i do have now and there it is it is on a mint card um very mint card but i don't have time to find someone with a bad card to trade me so we're gonna go ahead and just ruin it and open it up oh that is nice Love the color on this thing. Just really dig it. I, oh man, I just, I, I'm really growing like an affection for like vintage racing uh, liveries like this, uh, both domestic and um, foreign. So I don't know, man. I just really like the way this is put together, um, how it looks. It's great with the good Goodyear tires. Um, they are, it's almost like a yellow green printing on those tires. Gosh, that looks, that is probably right up there already with one as one of my favorite supers. JP Automotive. I mean, uh, okay, come on. Is that cool or is that really cool? I think it's really cool. Like the Plymouth Super Bird Super. I got that one too loose that looked good with this one. Just really, really like it. I hope they do some more. It would be cool to see some more like racing supers like this. I don't know. It just looks great with that paint. It looks The regular looks awesome. I've seen pictures of it. I don't have it. Um, unfortunately, I will get it, I'm sure. I'm sure it won't be that tough to get. But cool piece. Awesome. All right, so there is that. I just wanted to show you that real quick. And then uh, we'll just stick with Hot Wheels for a second. Open up these Zamax real quick. So, yeah, these Zamax, I think, were originally supposed to come out a lot earlier. I just never saw them. I think they came in some dump bins. Um, but my Walmart actually doesn't get, at least the one closest to me, does not get dump bins. And the other two that are in my, like, immediate kind of area don't hardly ever get them you know either so <clears throat> the one of course that i really wanted out of these three um that i was really hoping to find is this porsche because i collect porsche 
castings, but um, I guess I'll take these two too. I think the orange flames look awesome on the Zamac color, or look awesome on the Zamac. I could deal without, again, the orange windshield. That's a little goofy. This looks like it could be in that like Zamac set that came out this year, the 50th anniversary Zamax. But I don't know. It I, it really looks nice. Um, and then the Mustang is kind of cool. Green looks good with Zamac too. Looks all right. I like this Mustang casting. There's a ton of different Mustang castings. This is probably one of the better ones, in my opinion. And then this one is really cool. Glad to have it. Of course, this casting was also a super treasure hunt this year and debuted, I believe, last year. The Porsche 934.5. I really like it in Zamac. It's so basic, but it looks really good. There's like no tampos on the back. It's just that, that number 34 in the Porsche and then Porsche logo on the hood and lights, headlights. I mean, oh, and a little like lip right here that's black. But uh, I don't know. I like it. I think it looks good with these uh, red um, lace wheels as well. What do you think? I think it looks good. All right, mainline cars. And then Mercedes-Benz, AMG, or SLR, SLR McLaren. Just single lens reflex McLaren. All right, so. Okay, I don't know. It's gold. It's like a matte gold. Not even like, there's no sheen to it whatsoever. I don't know if I like this color, to be honest. It's, the detail's in the right place. The details are in the right places. Tampos, they put correctly on the car. That's that's great. Of course, a mainline matchbox, basically, so it's plastic, plastic uh, <clears throat> base, metal body. There's the base info, it's 161 scale. It's all right. This color is just kind of blah to me looks a little like almost like it has a texture to it all right so there's that and then our last hot wheel this one right here this is old news of course this came out in what 2016 17 i don't know at least a year ago this this side of it looks a lot better than this side of it again these pop culture cars man and some of the full deco stuff of course that they're doing on car culture it's like, seriously, do you guys print this stuff on a, like, dot matrix printer? Like, I don't know. It just seems like the resolution just isn't there. I don't know what the deal is and why that is. Um, and I know it's not every pop culture is like that. Even, like, RLC cars that you see nowadays have this, like, whatever printing method that they're using is just not a very good resolution. And yeah, I mean, it looks good from afar, but when you get it under a camera like this, and I don't know, maybe you can't tell, maybe you can, but just look at your own cars and you can definitely see that there's like, it's not very sharp. The image is not super sharp, okay? That's my gripe with them. And it is what it is. But this casting is awesome. Of course, metal body, metal base, rubber tires, Superman, yada, yada. All right, there's that. And then... We'll take a look at Shuko, I think, actually last. Let's go to Greenlight. 76 Ford Bronco. Twin Peaks. This is in Hollywood Series 10. Um, here's the other ones that would have been in the series. And this thing is totally BA, according to the back of the car. Oh, wait, what is this? Never mind. That's not the other ones in the series. That was telling you what episode of Gas Monkey Garage this was on. Which, to be perfectly honest with you, never seen the show. Ever. Sorry about it. I just don't really watch TV very much. You guys are getting getting the impression of that, probably. I mention it all the time. Not that I'm better than anyone for not watching TV. I just don't necessarily have time for it. Um... And like when I'm in, like laying in bed and stuff, I like to listen to podcasts. That's the kind of nerd I am. Sit there on the computer and uh, listen to some podcasts or watch some other YouTube videos. I do like to do that quite a bit too. 
but this uh, Bronco is pretty sweet. The um, I just like, I mean, the graphics on it are great. It says Twin Peaks on it. That's really why I bought it, to be honest. And then um, the hood doesn't want to open all the way, but I guess that's okay. It's the lifted version of the Bronco, so it's got that lift kit thing on there. Full-size spare tire, which is cool. Um, the detail's all there. I mean, it looks, as you would expect from Greenlight, it looks, it looks pretty good. Quality control-wise, this thing looks good, too. It doesn't look like there's any issues. Just a little fender rub there, but other than that, and other than the hood not opening, of course, which I guess take it or leave it. Um, and a little bit of extra material on the tire, but other than those things, this looks pretty awesome. Um, is that the number that it is down there? One ninety six fifteen. So they make the most. The if you want to know the most non limited green lights are definitely the Hollywood series. They make a lot of them. They made a lot of this car. Probably 20,000, 25,000 maybe. It's cool though, it's really cool. All right, so there's the Bronco and then quickly the Chevy Biscayne. Glendale Police. So this is the cop cars that they currently use in Glendale, Wisconsin. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know what, what year this would have been. Oh, it's a 67 Biscayne. Who knows how long they used uh, cars like this. Um, it is pretty cool, though. This one's got definitely one weird issue with it. I can already see. Uh, the little the light on the top, cherry on the top, looks okay. It's not totally flush with the car but that's not what I'm talking about what I'm talking about is this wheel well wheel arch right here what happened here well likely what happened this one is normal looks fine uh, the back one looks okay is it probably had flashing on the body when it came out I and mean, they probably file that stuff off maybe or maybe they have a machine that doesn't I'm not really sure we nice to know exactly how these are produced um, Chevy Biscayne, used under license, made in China. Um, but yeah, that wheel well looks like a bike got taken out of it or something. This might be a cool one to actually kind of weather. And almost because of that too, because you can make that look like, you know, it rusted away. Not going to do it. I don't have time to do it, but maybe someday. This is number 3920. This was in Hot Pursuit Series 18. We've had a lot of Hot Pursuit Series. This was also, I think, 2016 or 2017, so it's not that old. Um, cool little police car, though. I wish somewhere on it, it actually said Glendale, Wisconsin. That's too bad that it doesn't, but, I mean, this probably was their generic little whatever uh, livery that they put on their police cars. And I'm sure at that time, Glendale was probably a pretty small town. All right. And next up, we got the Field of Dreams. Speaking of some small town charm, good old Iowa. 1973 Volkswagen Type 2 from Hollywood Series 9. This is a nice, this is a really nice green light. I've seen it loose on a couple other channels, including uh, Heavy Metal 164. And I think, like, as of all the VW... All the green lights he has, I think this might be the only example of the T2 Volkswagen that he kept in his collection because it's a cool one to have. Um, and it is a cool one to have. Speaking of this, these T2s, this is this is a casting that I'm pretty much decided to stop collecting. I'm not going to continuously buy um, green light VWs. It's just... it's. There's just no way to get them all. There's absolutely no way. You just can't afford it. They put up way too many of these, and a lot of them, to be frank, are boring. I mean, they're just, there's nothing really cool about them. So I think I'm going to go through the many, 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 many that I have. I probably will do a video on them. And then what I'll do is I'll probably decide uh, which ones stay and which ones um, will go. I don't know what I'm going to do with the extras, if I'm going to sell them, or if I'm just going to put them in extras in people's boxes, or, you know, do whatever with them. I am not entirely sure, but this is a cool one that would be staying, for sure. It's just, it's well done. It's it's very well done. 
like everything from the rack on it being like bent right here and it's got some dirt dirty sides and stuff like that it just you know all the details on it it's a really cool little detailed um, piece so I definitely dig that and that one's one of the ones that will definitely stay all right so last up uh, before we go to Shuko is the Volkswagen Classic Beetle and I saved this one for last just specifically so that we could go ahead and look at it so Jenny Jenny that was probably a horrible impression I apologize for that uh, uh, wheels locked up in the back a little bit of oh it's just not on right let's see if we can fix it can you fix it Jenny Oh, come on. Well, whatever. We don't need to spend time on it. Ah, it looks okay. The Beatles. Now, that's another casting from Greenlight that I collect that I'm kind of on the fence about if I'm going to keep all of them or if I'm going to get rid of the boring ones and keep the, the really cool ones. I'm more off to keep the Beatles than I am the buses. I don't know why, but um, a bunch of, like, Beatles in a display case uh, with different, like, liveries and colors and all sorts of stuff. For some reason, it looks a lot cooler than all the buses together. And I'm a van fan, so that's weird, right? But I don't really know. I don't know why. It just, in a case together, the Beatles look cooler. Um, so, and if I do decide to get rid of some, this will probably be one that will stay just because it's got kind of a uniqueness to it and the fact that it's got some, you know, it looks like it's been sanded and whatnot. <coughs> so... All right, that's that. We'll keep that out real quick. And then we're going to take a look at the Beetle from Shuko. Here's the Beetle from Shuko. My son is yelling for me upstairs. And here's this one. Shuko Beetle. And this is after the Love Bug Herbie, I believe. I mean, it looks just like it. So... Um, now, Shuko is a company that is from Germany, I believe, sold in Germany. Um, here's an example of the box that it comes in. It is all cardboard. It is screwed to the, like, the cardboard. Um, there isn't any, like, plastic or anything except for the plastic that's uh, part of, like, this blister shape. Uh, kind of a nice box. That's how much they cost in euros, of course, if you were to buy one over there. And um, it's edition 164. Shuko makes some different scales and different things. And it's generally very high quality die cast. Um, I will probably do a separate video on Shuko stuff. This, these, are, these three cars I'm about to show are not the only three that I have. Um, and they are pretty cool though. So now in comparison size, 164 scale. These probably aren't the same year beetle. Not that that should really matter. I don't know for sure if Shuko really claims that they are true 164 scale, but I would lean to that this is probably more accurate than the green light one, especially because this is the former high speed casting, I believe, of this uh, beetle tooling. There's a couple different uh, green light beetle toolings. I don't know. What do you think? So right off the bat, lens detail, headlights on the Shuko. That, that's a very cool feature. Um, lens detail, tail lights as well that look yeah, pretty good they got the chromer on them looks like they're inset pretty well um in general i think it looks pretty good and i mean i'll definitely take a shoe coat over a green light just because they're definitely not as common and this is all metal construction this one actually is a plastic base um but really cool just another example different brand of a beetle and i have lots of different brands of volkswagen beetles all right next let's take a look at some faster cars starting with this audi r8 very very cool by the way if you get into shuko or trying to find shukos they don't make a lot of 164 scale cars there is not a lot of selection there but the ones that they do they do pretty well this is one of them uh, detail definitely isn't going to come out too much in this camera because it is very, very matte black. But there's the front of it. As you see, you got lens detail for the headlights. You got detail in the grill, a space for a number plate as well. And then in the back, we get lens detail for the taillights, that little R8 printing, Audi printing, the exhaust down there. 
Looks like we got a wheel issue, maybe. Oh, another one with the tire just kind of coming off. I should be able to fix that off camera. The tires are rubber. Um, there we go. Tires are rubber. The base is metal. Body is metal. As you can see, it's easy to put fingerprints on this one, even though I got a fingerprint on the window. Uh, the glass is pretty clear, very detailed, very heavy, robustly constructed, and uh, pretty darn cool. So glad to add those to the collection. What is that? I don't know if I just put that there or not. There is some weird, like, white rubbing right there. That's hard to see with the naked eye, but easy to see on the camera. All right. Awesome little Audi. And then a really cool little Porsche. So here is this Porsche casting. Again, we get lens detail all the way around. Highly detailed on the back. Um, pretty well detailed everywhere else. It is metal on metal, rubber tires with tread. And a very nice looking little car. I actually already had this casting. I'll pull it out real quick. Because I barely have to reach to grab it in red, in enamel red. Which one do you think looks cooler? I'm gonna go with the blue one for sure, even though I like the rims on this one better. I almost like it if they had black, the black rims on the blue one, I think would look pretty cool. This one I got from Travis, I believe, Heavy Metal 164, and then this one I just got from Shiresh. So what do you think about those two little pieces? All right, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. We went over a couple of shoot calls. Not a very eventful week, but a ah, nice one. Nice stuff. And like I said, I'm just kind of going through some stuff, you know. I'm kind of thinking, do I collect it? Do I not? Do I keep up with it? Do I want to? What am I doing? So you got to do that every once in a while with your collection. It's fun. It's refreshing, too. All right. So you guys enjoy the rest of this uh, this week. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. I appreciate you all watching. And have a good day.